So as a new user to Illuminate, um, here's a short video on how to navigate around your Illuminate screen. So this is the second part of a, a series of videos on how to use Illuminate. My name is Alan Prost. I'm your moderator. So basic navigation. How do we get around the screen? Well, the first thing to realize is that up here in your um, upper left-hand corner is our control so you can see just the full screen view, just like that. The other part of that is you can click over here on the right side and switch back so you can see who your participants are and all the other aspects of the other screens. Now you can control going back and forth through the screen. Now the moderator is allowed to um, decide on how you participate in as a, uh, as a student or a viewer. If they allow you to roam, then you can actually select whatever screen you'd like to look at. So you can flick back and forth to any screen you'd like Along, and when the follow moderator view is on, you're just going to be connected with him and see the screens that he wants to show you. All right. So you've got a choice on whether you watch the full screen view or you can watch this view so you can see all the other participants and what they're doing. Now, here's an interesting thing to do is um, how do you communicate? And that's a big part of Illuminate and why it's so popular. And there's a couple of different ways. Of course, there's the audio mechanism. And I've got mine turned off right now because I'm making a recording. But down here on the left-hand side, you can see there's a microphone. And you'll have one on your screen as well. And whenever you want to talk, you can click on that. And you can leave it on, and everybody can take turns. Or you can turn it off so you don't capture any of the background sounds around your environment. So you can follow along and just listen. Or you can actually turn it on and participate. Now, I turned it on just for a second there, but I'll get a lot of feedback through my mechanism if I, if I have that on right now. So you can talk, which is a powerful thing. You can also use the, the video as well. And I'm actually going to use, um, I'm going to show what it looks like when a participant um, sends us a video that they want us to view. So here's a, uh, me transmitting a view from another computer onto our screen. All right. So here is the uh, here I am. Uh, I'm actually communicating um, through another computer into our uh, screen view, just like that. So I'm going to turn that off because we can experiment with video at different times. So video is very interesting. Another really important one is the chat feature. Okay, so you can see down here in this window right here, you can chat. So I'm going to have a, another student just send us a little message here, and. Uh, this is a, a really good feature. You can see, okay, the uh, student whose name, your name, typed in here. So they're communicating with us through chat. If you want to send out everybody, and everybody a message, you just sign up here. And whatever message you want to put out there, you, so you can see the moderator. Now, it's kind of nice. You've got some choices here. You can watch everybody, or you can actually break out and have private chats with other members of the team or the group that's involved with this session. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. Not everything um, you're communicating has to be seen by the entire group. Now another important aspect of communication is the gestures and voting. So that's up here in the participants window, just up here on the um, left hand side. Now you can do things, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when another participant um, wants to uh, indicate that they are clapping. So they just get on there and they can clap away like crazy. Or they can do something like they could show that they disapprove with whatever's happening. Or they might want to send you a little happy face or some of the other gestures that are like that. Okay? And you can um, override them and cancel them at your will. Another good feature about this is the ability that different participants can vote during a session. So you can ask a question, who agrees that uh, the price of gasoline is too high, for example? So different people can vote at, uh, and you can see, oh yeah, I see your name and whoever it is, and my, I, we both agree. All right. Or you can choose to disagree. All right. So um, there's a couple of different ways. There's also um, a, uh, a tool that you can use up here where you can pull results and actually put on quizzes and things like that and have uh, groups of people answer them while um, having a session. So those are some of the advanced tools you have. All right. So key things about Illuminate to get you started. You've got your participants window, so you can give uh, visual feedback to the moderator and the other attendees. 
Uh, you've got the chat room here where you can send messages out to everybody over top of the audio that might be occurring. And you can also participate by discussion and having the audio. You also have the opportunity to uh, send a, a video message. And so uh, you can actually be seen and you can actually have a, a few different people participating at the same time. All right. So that's that's kind of an interesting uh, feature that you could have that you can actually see different people uh, communicating. And I'm actually going to see if I can uh, hook up another uh, another person on here. No, that's OK. So video is another option to go. So that's an introduction to the basic navigation around. So don't forget about the roam feature. OK, so if you want to be able to go through the slides at your own pace and see them. Oh, yes. And uh, also, you can write on the slides. The moderator has the ability to give you permission so that you can write on the slides as, as he can do. Um, I can just kind of just draw a nice little red line to highlight what we're talking about here. We've gone to the audio connection, we've gone to the chat and the gestures and voting. All right. So you can actually be allowed to draw on the tile on the um, whiteboard as well. If you just want to see the whiteboard, click up here, and I'm getting a little repetitive, so it must be time to finish this, uh, this, um, this session. So thank you very much, and the next session we're going to have will be on presenting uh, PowerPoint presentations in Illuminate. My name is Alan Prost. Thank you very much.